Hi there, I'm Virginia Lindsay of Ginger Cake Patterns and Designs. And if you will remember, like about a year ago, I showed you guys how to make oven mitts. And I was ready to make a new oven mitt. So I made this new one. And then I also ended up making some circular hot pads. And I loved making these. And I found a really great and easy way to do it that I think you guys will really like. These, This was from um, these... Uh, this the scrap fabric I put together and these are just from a plain you know one piece they're really fast and easy they're they're bound so I used binding to put it around so they're really pretty and and it's so much easier and quicker than you think so I wanted to show you real quick how to do that uh, but first I want to introduce you to my sponsor Skillshare Skillshare is an online learning platform they have over 25,000 classes on like every topic every time I get on there I can just like search up whatever I want to do and this time what I'm working on is accessorizing and decor so I was working on redoing a bookshelf and I just could not get it right and so I was like I was looking up on Skillshare how to decorate a bookshelf and I came across this class that is all about accessories and it's not just bookshelves it is um, console tables and mantles and all sorts of great things and it just teaches you how to bring together decorating accessories that look really good and I don't know if you've noticed before sometimes you'll look at a mantle or something at someone's house and you'll say wow that looks so good why can't I do it like that this is the class for you this one is like longer than we've done in the past but I think you'll really like it so let's take a look so when you go to Skillshare.com you will uh, immediately see suggested classes to take. Uh, and there are just such a big variety from illustration to photography to web design. And uh, this is an illustration class. Uh, it gives you the class description, um, reviews, discussion. And then also here, uh, you'll see what the students who took this class have created. And so that's really cool. A cool way to see you know, what people can create from these classes. And then you can also search for your own thing like logo design, but I searched for home decor uh, and, and in particular accessories. And um, so this class that came up was called Design is in the Details, How to Accessorize Like a Pro by Erica Fogelman, I think it is. Anyway, um, it is great. It shows every room, every accessory area imaginable. And it is longer, like I said, almost over two hours, uh, but it's great. And so with my link below, the first 1,000 to visit my um, link get a free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership. So you got to try it out. It's great. So to begin, you want to have these, these four, one, two, five layers cut out. Um, I have them all cut to nine by nine. And it is two pieces of cotton fabric. The red one that you see uh, here and then the blue one in the back and the blue one goes down first face down okay with the right side facing down then next we have uh, like a sandwich of cotton batting and the uh, insel bright batting or there's pellon i think it's called like heat reflective batting you can find it most places this is an insel bright batting it's a little thicker um, but the recommendation is that you sandwich the insel bright batting with with um, cotton batting so you need to have two of the cotton battings cut nine by nine and then those two are going to sandwich the heat reflective batting, which has these little silver threads in it and it's kind of crunchy sounding, you can hear that. And then on top of that, you have your other, which will be the top layer of the quilting cotton. So that's five layers. And the next thing I'm gonna do off camera is I'm just gonna do some zigzaggy quilting. You can see them on there. And the way that I do that is I just take my machine and I go back and forth, back and forth about every inch, inch and a half or so. Okay, that's a really easy way to quilt. I'll be back. Okay, so here I did the, um, the quilting. So you can see it's all attached now, the five layers. Now listen, make sure that you check your manufacturer's instructions with the, 
with the heat resistant. Some of them don't need the two layers of cotton batting. They might only need one layer. So make sure you check that. So our next step is just to use the circle template. You can create your own. It's just an eight inch circle, or you can head to my website. I'll give the link down below. Um, and then you can head to my website and print that out if that's easier for you. So we're just gonna pin this on. And then we're gonna cut it out. Nothing too complicated. So as nice and circular as that can be, um, the better, like, you know, don't wing it because that'll make your whole piece look kind of cattywampus. So there we go. Okay, now it's time to make the bias binding. Here we have a piece of the same fabric and we're going to make some bias cuts here. We're going to cut on the 45 degree line to get a nice, a nice bias cut here. So I'm just going to cut off this little end right here. See that nice cut? Now that's a bias cut. See how it has some stretch there? I want it to be the same two and a half inches wide. So I just go right down. So there it is. And that one is only, that's only 16 inches long. So I need to cut it quite a bit more and cut another kind of bigger one over here. That way I don't have as many, because the fewer seams that you have when you're sewing around here, the better. It just, there's like a, it's just like a bulky spot. And then you're kind of, you know, you're more likely to kind of wobble right there and not get as nice a look. So I'm just gonna cut it right here using the same lines that I cut before. Just like this. Okay, now when you sew together the two bias cut pieces of binding, you have to sew them, they're gonna end up like this. So you have to sew them like that, like in, a, in, an, uh, in an L shape, okay? And they kind of, I'm gonna show you up close over by the sewing machine. And there you go. I'm gonna press this out and press this whole piece in half. And with the stretch, it's actually the correct size to make, to cut this down to is 24 inches. So if you cut yours 24 inches and then sew it together, it's gonna to be the perfect loop. So I'm just gonna finger press this open and then press the whole little, the, here's the whole loop. And now go, uh, go clip it to the, the pot holder. Okay, here we go. We're working on this side. Just like. Make sure you aren't pulling this at all. Okay, that's what it looks like. And now I'm gonna sew around the edge. Okay, I sewed all around the edge. 
Now you can't really press because it just doesn't, you have to kind of turn it all the way over. It's sort of like a hat or something. Just push it all the way over and really kind of use your fingers to kind of pull it all the way to kind of fully extend that seam. Okay, and this is what the other side looks like now. And what we need to do is this is going to, we're going to do the same thing. You have to give, we're going to use, I'm going to use clips again. Pins would work, clips work better. Give it a little tug, tuck it in. And if you get, if you get to a part where you feel like, you know, this, these seams might need a trim. They're very bulky. So fold it back over, especially I think the, uh, the top layer, because that kind of tends to fold in on itself. So when I trim this, I kind of, I do it at an angle like this. And I mostly get the top fabric. Not too much though, because you definitely want that fabric to be underneath so it looks good inside the binding. Okay. So that's really all I took off. But I think that's going to make a big difference. Yeah, I can feel already that it's easier to fold the binding over. Okay, see how that's coming together? Now I'm going to sew around. Okay, here I go. You want to get as close to the edge as possible without actually missing it. So just take your time. And it is important that you get close to that edge or you'll have this kind of funny lip area. The binding will kind of like fold back and it won't look as nice. There we go. All done. I'm going to press again. Okay, thanks for watching. I hope you guys get to make a little fun hot pad soon, uh, or make five or six or two at once. Um, and please subscribe to my channel. I'm always doing these kinds of uh, tutorials that make sewing more easy and more fun. So I look forward to seeing you next time and hope you get some good sewing in. Bye-bye.